much dedicated to you, Urban Decay, because you have changed my life and really, really helped me explore what colour is and, you know, how to be different and stand up from the crowd and explore my creative side. So I really wanted to do a video dedicated to Urban Decay and this one's certainly for you guys. And I really hope I did you guys justice with this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and if you want to see how I create this look, then of course, keep on watching. Okay, so you guys, the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face and Urban Decay have come out with these Scandinavian inspired kind of products and I'm using the B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray and apparently this reduces redness, pore minimalizing and oil absorbing. So, so all of these things I do sometimes suffer with, especially redness around here and oiliness around here and here. Pores, I don't have severely bad pores. I don't know if you guys can see really well, but it's not too bad. I find that some foundations and products can really, really enhance them. So let's just try this out and hopefully I see a difference in my pores and redness and also in my oils. Okay, so basically, um, the first impression of this already is that it kind of smells a bit like, kind of like, um, licorice, a licorice plastic toilet cleaning. I don't know. I don't know if I'm being too harsh on this, but that's the kind of smell I'm getting. I don't really like the smell at all, if I'm honest, and it's quite off-putting, but um regarding my skin i don't feel like it's too it's kind of got like that tacky feeling so um we'll just see how it goes i don't hate it so far i don't feel like it's done much to my skin i hope that the foundation obviously um sticks to it well i feel like with this tacky feeling it's gonna do that so anyway moving on from that I'm going to go in with the All Nighter Foundations and these are waterproof, long wearing liquid foundations. I'm in the shade 1.5 and 0 0.5. In between that, I should have just got a 1.0, um, which they do do, but sometimes my skin's a bit darker, sometimes it's a bit lighter, it depends on the weather and just overall kind of, my skin is weird, it just like adapts, the colour changes all the time. So you just got to adapt to the situation. Um, so I'm just going to mix some of that. What I like to do is kind of just put it on the palm of my hands. And this is quite a thick foundation. I have to be honest with you guys. This is one of my holy grails. I absolutely love it. I always go back to it for some reason. Anyway, I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender sponge. This does look so disgusting and filthy. I'm probably going to have to just throw it out and burn it because... I'm sure this is not doing any good to my face. Anyway, so I'm just going to mix it all in like this. And then I'm just going to literally just dab it all over the face. And as you can see, it's super, super full coverage. It's not thick in consistency on the face. It's quite light feeling. It gives kind of a matte finish as well. So it's quite good for you oily skin girls. In fact, it's very matte. It doesn't give me any luminosity. I don't know if you guys can see, but it doesn't give me that luminosity, which is okay. I mean, it depends. In the summer, I probably wouldn't resort to this because I like a dewy finish. But at this time of the year, when it's really cold, I kind of like it to be quite matte. But not flat, because nobody wants a flat face. They want it to look super, super gorgeous, super colourful. It is quite easy to blend. Uh, that's why I like it as well. You have enough time to work with this foundation before it starts kind of drying. It does definitely dry down a lot, um, but you do still need to set with a powder.
if at any point my cat comes into the frame, guys, just give her a hello in the comments below because I'll just read them to her. I know she's probably like, what the fuck? Why are you talking with me? Just feed me and play with me. My kitten's just so cute though. On your boo boo. Anyway, you guys, did you have a good Christmas? I had a really, really good Christmas. I worked till two, which I didn't mind. Um, and then I spent the rest of the day with my family. Um, in our family, it's a tradition to open our presents Christmas Eve. I don't know if anyone else is like that, where they open their presents at Christmas Eve. Mainly because, because I started work at seven, they... They all couldn't wait until two o'clock because I was doing like a seven till two and my family just could not wait until two o'clock to open their presents. So I, we kind of came up with this agreement where we'd open them up Christmas Eve. Um, and yeah, it was amazing. I really, really am pleased with all my presents that I got. I got some really cute slippers that have like a cat face on them. It's so cute. So, so cute. And just some other bits and bobs, really. Some makeup. But yeah, let me know, you guys. What did you guys get for Christmas? Did you enjoy? Did you have a good time? What did you do? You know, I want to know. I want to see what you guys... Because I really want... I want to get to know my um, subscribers a lot more. That's something that I really wanted to do this year. And kind of just get involved in your lives as well. You know, I do videos, but... It's not just doing the videos that I enjoy. I love connecting with you guys as well. You know, getting to know you on a personal level. It's just awesome. You know, I like making new friends. And YouTube certainly has helped me find a lot of new friends and branch out of my kind of usual group of friends that I usually just stick with and just stay with. But yeah, YouTube's definitely opened my friendship list to a bigger number of different people. I mean, all of you guys that are subscribed to me and watch my videos, you're all so different in your own ways and I just love it. You're all so creative as well and just really passionate. And I just really am inspired by all of you. But yes, yeah, so the foundation's down. Now we're gonna go in with the concealer that is part of this all-nighter kind of full coverage won't budge, won't move, kind of shiz. And this is what it looks like. It's waterproof again, full coverage concealer. I'm in the shade, if you're wondering, Fair Warm. And it looks identical to the foundation, but as you can compare the sizes, they're completely different. You get... 3.5 mils or 0 0.12 fluid ounces in this product. And yeah, I'm going to try it out. Oh, you have to unscrew it. I'm like the foundation where you can just pull the lid off. You have to unscrew it, which is kind of cool. And it's very similar to the other naked concealer, which I'm obsessed with as well. So I just hope this lives up to that. It has a doe foot applicator like the naked concealer from Ever Decay, which is also one of my favorite concealers of all time. I literally am obsessed with it. It's light, it's full coverage as well. It gives you that real, real glow under your eyes and really just like hides those dark circles and it's just amazing. But anyway, so yes, it's like this. It's It feels a lot more thinner than the original Naked Skin concealer and it does look like the width wise, it's quite small. So anyway, we're going to try it out and see what happens. The guy in the store when I was buying it today um, said, try with one eye because it dries really, really quickly. Um, so I'm going to do that and hopefully it doesn't set before I have a chance to blend it all out. Oh my god, that's amazing. I'm not even surprised. I have to be honest though, he was certainly right. The guy in the store said, you know, you've got to work quick with this product. And it really, really does 
dry down quite quickly. Um, you still, again, you still have to set it. And I would advise to do one eye first, blend that out, and then go on to the other eye because it just, it, it's dried already and it's taken me about 10 seconds to do. So you've got about 10 seconds, I would say, to work with this product. As you can see though, it's giving me so much luminosity and like brightness under my eye. And I really, really like the finish of it. Again, it's quite matte and it's just really, really nice. It brightens up the eyes. And as I don't know if you guys can see a comparison. This is this eye with a concealer. And this is without. It hasn't creased just yet. So let's go on to the other eye and see what happens. I literally, you guys, I really, really miss doing my YouTube videos so much. Honestly, I just have been so crazy busy with my actual job at the moment. Um, and I've managed to cut down my hours now so I can kind of focus on my YouTubing and freelancing with my makeup as well because that's been slacking. Um, I absolutely adore my daytime job which uh, I'm a healthcare assistant if you guys didn't know already and um I actually love it it's so rewarding and I just love all the people all the carers and I love all the clients you know I really haven't got any complaints with that it's just I haven't had enough time when I do get home from work because it is so tiring you know it's so so tiring in fact um that I just lose the energy to make videos but I feel like now that I'm going to be cutting down my hours I'll be able to maintain YouTube as well which is a big important thing to me and it's a big you know factor in my life recording and I, I do want to do more videos about my transition because it's coming up to the big five mark five years in a hormone so if you guys want to see like a five year update hormone video um like the body changes and my experiences being on hormones for the last five years let me know below give me a like and a thumbs up you know just so i know that that's what you want to watch and what you want to see i do feel like i haven't done one for so long regarding my transition and transgender issues so i'll certainly do one if one of those kind of videos if that's what you guys want to see so now i'm just gonna Put some concealer on my nose and just blend that out just to give it some highlight. Just a little bit here as well. I really, really, really like this concealer, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I just absolutely love it so far. I don't like the fact that you have to really work quick with it. Like, really, really quick. However, it's giving me such a gorgeous finish. It's not feeling heavy on the skin at all. It feels like you could almost get away with not setting it. But I always set my cream products. Always. Because... I just feel like it extends the life of these foundation, these products and foundations and concealers. Uh, I definitely will set this in a minute, but I'm just going to continue to conceal areas that I like to have that highlighted effect. Okay, because I broke my finishing powder from Urban Decay. It kind of just fell on the floor and it shattered and it was just a hot mess. I'm gonna go in with another powder which I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's literally taken over my life. I was obsessed and just my go-to was Laura Mercier translucent powder. That literally was my, my go-to. It still is, like I still go back to it sometimes. But since I invested in this bad boy, the Vici Derma Blend, translucent powder well it's called setting powder but same thing um ever since i've invested in this it's literally changed my life it's amazing it literally will set any kind of product even if it's really really hard to work with and it's 
it will set anything and it will keep your products sat in that place all day long. It really, really does prolong the life of your face, your makeup. It just keeps it locked in. And that's why I love this. And it's dermatolo dermatology. I can never say that word. I just really, really love this product. It is a bit pricey for a drugstore powder. However, I have had this for about maybe a month and a half, two months, and I use this every single day, and I haven't used any other powder since buying this, and I still have quite a bit of the product left, like half the jar, so I think actually it's really money well spent, considering a lot of the powders that I used to use, I just would go through them and through them and through them, but because it's a loose one, only a little bit goes a long way. Again, with all my kind of powders that I use, that I come like this. I just put a little bit in the lid and then just kind of get a sponge and just kind of lock it all. And this concealer has set and work, is working really well with this powder. It's not kind of feeling irritated. It's not feeling like it's moving. It feels like it's literally locked in place where it is. And yeah, I'm obsessed. I'm really, really obsessed. That concealer is bomb.com. So far, I'm loving everything. I want to be like that sassy bitch that hates every product I'm reviewing, but I'm not going to lie to you guys. I really am enjoying this application. I'm enjoying the result of this at the moment. I'm enjoying the way it looks, feels on the skin. It just feels so light, yet it's full coverage. It's amazing, this whole look so far. And then I'm going to go and probably ruin it with my eyes, but never mind. And I always kind of touch the skin, feel if I need a little bit more powder in places, and if I do, I'll just add a bit more. I've got glitter on my face, you guys. You're probably wondering why. I did like this glitter eye makeup look. If you want to check out my Instagram, I'll certainly show you guys that look that I did. And... The glitter is just not leaving. I'm not crying about it though, I'm happy. Cause I feel like a little bit of glitter in your life just is never a bad thing. So, face is down. I'm now gonna go on to the eyes and I feel like we need a transition color. So. Urban Decay, where do I begin? All of your palettes are just incredible. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea to me. I think I'm going to go for a blue kind of effecty eye. Now I'm going to be taking my Beauty with an Edge palette from the Urban Decay collection. And these are all metal shimmers. And I, I'm just going to show you the palette because it is beautiful. I've never seen a palette like it before. It's so unique in its own self. How beautiful. And I'm certainly so drawn to these colours right here and I think I'm actually going to go in with probably this colour first which is called Amp and why not let's just try it out and see what happens. I love this colour. What I've learned from a lot of these eyeshadows that have a lot of fallout is if you place and pat them into the skin rather than just straight away rub them you're less likely to get that kind of fallout and just hot mess down here. Um, so kind of just like tap it into place and then blend it afterwards. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's just blend. That is so pretty. I mean, it's such a gorgeous color. You could wear it on its own, All, but I'm not gonna because I wanna make a crazy, crazy look today. Anyway, I'm going to extend this out slightly to about here where the eyebrow ends or should end. And I'm just going to keep bringing it up. Like that. And then, of course, repeat on the other. So moving on from that, I think I'm going to go in with Dive, which is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blue. And already I can see that that's probably going to cause fallout. So I'm just going to tap some. 
um, and then just place it and I'm just going to place that just below where the natural crease is oh my goodness that is so pretty And if you want, I'm just going to extend it like I did with the green. I love it. Of course, if you're getting fallout like I am, I'm just going to brush some away. And again, repeat on the other eye what you've just done on this eye. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm going to try this palette with a bit of Fix Plus and see if I can get a different effect. I'm just going to have a bit of Fix Plus and just a flat kind of... Oh. And I'm going to take that blue again and see if that changes the effect of this colour. If... Oh. Girl, look at that chaos. Okay, so these are definitely meant to be wet. If you want that real effect, that real color payoff. I'm going to go back in with Amp and same again, use a wet brush. And I'm just going to place that on the, the eye. Oh, look at that. Metal. And now I'm going to go on, on to another palette, which is obviously by Evan Decay as well, and it is the After Dark palette. And again, and because I'm keeping with the theme of this kind of look, I'm going to be going in with these colours here. And I think I'm going to start off with Paralyzed. And I don't know where I'm going to put it, but let's just work with it. Place that in the centre. Again, brush for any fallout. And to fringe, which is again this kind of sea blue, dark sea blue. And put that where I was going to put lounge. Oh, that is pretty. Peel on this side. Okay, I'm loving this look. I feel like we need some eyeliner and I think today I'm just going to go in with the Jean Michael Basquiat. <laughs> Basquiat. Um, and this one is Vivid, which is a blue coloured eyeliner and I love it. Okay, just to add some edge and some kind of cray cray to this look, I'm going to go in with another Jean Michael Basquet um, eyeliner. This one's called Post Punk and it's like this luminous green and it's so pretty. And I'm just going to bring that onto the upper lid.
Oh, I love it. Okay, and now just to give it that seamless look, I'm just going to blend the bottom eyes slightly. Okay, I know this is a, bl um, a highlighter, this powder highlighter, but I'm going to use it anyway. This one's Fireball and it's a beautiful pink kind of colour. And I'm just going to use that for blush today because I'm feeling really, really crazy. And then for highlighter today, I'm going to be using Luminous, which is this lovely baked kind of highlighter. And I'm just going to use that to chop off. I'm just going to go in with some mascara. And I haven't got... Um, any Urban Decay mascaras at the moment. So I'm going to be using my Ride or Die Telescopic by L'Oreal. And this is an extra black. For lipstick today, I'm going to be taking my Vice Lip Palette, and this is beautiful, beautiful. And it's got loads of different lipsticks, and it's all from the Vice collection. So This was on offer in the January sales for £12.50. I think it retails at something like £38.50. So I saved myself so much money buying this in the January sales. Um, but I think to not to not to distract ourselves from the eyes too much, so go for a bit of a nude colour, but not too nudish because, you know, I still want to look cute and I still want to look colourful. And I think I'm going to go in firstly with Amulet, which is kind of like a sparkly nude. It has kind of like silver reflexes in. And then I think, to add a bit more colour as well, I'm going to go in with Tame, which is this gorgeous kind of nude matte peachy pink. And guess what setting spray I'm going to be using? If you guys don't know what this setting spray is or have never heard of it, then please remove yourself from my channel right now. I'm only joking. Please don't stay. Please don't go. Um, of course, I'm talking about the All Nighter setting spray by Urban Decay as well. This is the original packaging. I haven't got the new layout one yet. So I'm going to be using the original one. It's almost empty and I'm scared to let it go because I'm obsessed with this packaging. It's so sleek and cute. But anyway, so we're going to use that to set our mug. I'm going to just shake it. And that, you guys, is the final look. Thank you so, so much for watching. So... Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look and this tutorial. And 
Thank you for bearing with me because it's been so long since I posted a video and I've had so many people say, when are you going to post another video? So here it is, you guys. It's my newest one. And please, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and check all my other videos out. And I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video. Until then, stay trying delicious. Bye, guys.